chemicals that are contained in our urine uh, uh, from exposure, and especially being his age at nine when the study was taken, that he's the highest of everyone in the study. It, it, it's scary because most people are a nibby, not in my backyard, and hey, I get cheap gas. What they don't understand is this air is, could shift directions at any time and expose them. And my water flows directly into the Monongahela, which you drink. You know, I kind of suspected that there would be some things i can honestly tell you that i was i was a bit surprised how much i mean i knew but i was like wow and then um and i guess that's because we're just completely you know it just completely encompasses us it's at every angle it's not like we can look to our right or left like it's not there um and then just anywhere that they go whether it's school or whatever it's there too so We take great pains to make sure we're not exposed to things, you know, and we're pretty aware of things that we should and should not be exposed to, and we're still being exposed to things. So what are people like that are not aware of these things being exposed to that they don't know? You know, I guess like just the overall ambient exposure to these chemicals is kind of shocking, you know, that our children especially are being exposed to this stuff. And I didn't expect that it was going to go the way it did where, you know, we had higher numbers of things you find in fracking where we don't live near fracking. Like that's going to be what I'm going to be doing now is trying to identify sources that might be exposing us to things. If you're living near an exposure, now you're not getting away from it at all. You're not leaving the house, you're not going to school.